Hello, my lovely people, my lovely coffee supporters. <laughs> uh, I wanted to give you a bit of an insight into um, Icarus's Chance. I did a little post about it in the, like during the release week, uh, but I never really talked about it in depth and I never talked about it verse by verse and putting the chorus and everything and pre-chorus separately. I just you know, posted a statement about <laughs> the overall meaning of the song. Uh, but I thought maybe, you know, I would dig into a couple of those things. It's very, like, it's more poetical and more metaphorical and, well, some of it, I guess. Um, some of it is very straightforward. Uh, it might seem like there's a meaning behind it more than what's on the page, but... <laughs> It's not like that, so we, we want to stay in the kind of... We want to stay in the storytelling world rather than going into a m deeper meaning. Because I would say that this song knows what it's all about. Like, for example, sometimes like with Hymn of the Sea, there's so much more. There's layers and, and layers of like uh, not only personal experience or information, I guess, <laughs> for me... But also, there's just so much more to say about that song. But this song, I would say, is straightforward. Although there is obviously a bigger meaning, because it talks about like the freedom of yourself and your truth, and what you believe in and what you want to do in life. Or, um, and I'm not talking about like work related. Like, oh, what you want to do in life? What's, what are you doing for a living? <laughs> like. Nobody cares, Karen. Um, so it's it's more about sort of um, the kind of how do you approach life? How, to, how do you want to live? What is freedom to you? So yeah, let's just get started. So first verse is thousand lights in my dreams of a riddle to escape the night. Hundred scrolls trying hard to answer the impossible. So yeah, it is a play on Icarus, obviously. It's called Icarus a Chance. I'm giving Icarus a chance. If you want to know more about the story of Icarus from Greek mythology, you can read one of my posts that I made about it or just like Google it, honestly. <laughs> There's so many cool like uh, summaries and whatnot. Even on YouTube, like they have such good like three, five minute um, videos about certain, um, you know, personalities, deities and uh, characters and gods and whatnot from Greek mythology. Mm. So yeah, um, basically a thousand lights in my dreams of a riddle to escape the night. Um, I wanted to, for, for this thousand lights, it's just like, um, do you guys know the song Fire, Fireflies from, not from, by, by <laughs> Owl City? Um, and that was basically the idea of like thousand lights being the sparks, the ideas, the the passion in you um, that drives you, that wakes you up in the in the morning and or even at night and you're like, oh my god, I got this idea or I whatever, you know, something came to me. Um, and yeah, in my dreams of a riddle to escape the night. So basically the riddle to escape the night is sort of when you're stuck in a place uh, where you kind of feel like you are in on the dark side of life I guess or at least there's not much light in there so it's basically the the, the hopes and dreams that you get that you hopefully get <laughs> when you are stuck in a place where you don't want to be that seems very dark it's very kind of you know you don't want to be there um yeah and it's a riddle to how how do you get out of it right because often it's like how the hell, like, I know something's wrong, but how the hell do I fix it? Or how do I figure out what the core issue is or something? Um, so 100 scrolls trying hard to answer the impossible. So I love this because when I was writing that, I was picturing a very old study or like somebody's little workshop and there's a lot of scrolls all over the place and old books and whatnot. So, um, yeah, it's it's basically uh, imagine looking for answers in books and, and old scripts and, you know, just like we look up to people that once lived, you know, philosophers and, uh, 
well, just like inspiring people in general, I guess. It can also be from our own life, you know, somebody from our family that once lived that we find very inspiring. So looking for answers and all of that and reading and, and looking into it uh, to, yeah, to escape the things that we are living right now to make it into a better tomorrow, I guess. Words ignite from the depths of a forest to be sacrificed. <laughs> I love this line so much. Um, Words ignite from the depths of a forest to be sacrificed. So that's when you finally start finding answers. And the forest to be sacrificed, I feel like in life, even when you search for your own freedom, you have to sacrifice something, either your ego or, uh, you know, stepping out of society when you take it very kind of far with how much like some people want to live completely um you know away from society and and cities and whatnot like really off grid as much as possible some people travel in a van you know so how far do you want to take it what what is your sacrifice because there's always a sacrifice but although it sounds like something big and horrible like oh sacrifice um i feel like it can be very relieving and very freeing, liberating, it's all synonymous, <laughs> I'm just trying to make up words as I go, um, no, but um, it is very liberating once you, you know, commit this sacrifice, commit to sacrifice, I guess that's the, I hope that's the right um, way to phrase it, but uh, yeah, once you sacrifice something that you were holding on to, you will feel this kind of freedom, I guess, at least that's how it felt for me. Um, in, you know, whenever I wanted to step out of the, you know, regular, you know, boring, <laughs> everything that everybody's doing, basically. Um, so yeah, towards paradise, take a leap in the distance and begin to rise. I mean, that's sort of straightforward. Um, yeah, towards paradise, towards your ultimate goal, and it can be many goals and can be just like this idea of how I want to live, how I want to spend my life on this earth. And so, you know, well, I guess it is a bit more metaphorical than I thought it would be. <laughs> but it's also, I think, those lyrics are very kind of painting pictures, which I love so much. Um, and yeah, uh, you know. I think I like lyrics when I can both imagine the, you know, things happening, like like pictures coming to life, but also um, simultaneously there's so much meaning behind it. So this is why I like writing like that. So yeah, you, you step forward to take the leap, you know, and you begin to rise. Because why not? You know, why does everything that you do have to start with a failure? It doesn't have to. Um, and you know, at least in my life, I've uh, discovered that sometimes things just magically work out. <laughs> and it's like, oh, wow, you know, maybe some people would have said, oh, but what if this happens and this happens and this happens? But, you know, if you feel like taking a risk, take a risk because, you know, why not? You could fail, but you could also kind of, you know, win in this situation and, and, uh, something very very amazing could come out of it you know so you could rise uh yeah solar gates open wide for my escape let me shatter all the rage make me brave so this one is yeah pretty kind of straightforward i guess uh that's mostly about like icarus rising and like the solar gates so the sun kind of opening up like above the clouds almost you know like opening as if a new door for him um to escape from everything from the dark from you know it's like a play on dark and light and whatnot and uh let me shatter all the rage make me brave so let me shatter all the rage i mean i think um breaking out of something whatever it is mentally um it, it's connected to rage or you know, sadness, either side, you know, it's, it's very, uh, or confusion or something. Um, for me, it's, you know, mostly rage, I guess, <laughs> like, maybe not rage, but like, you know, anger. 
and um, make me brave. Yeah, you have to be brave to take a risk, so it makes sense to, you know, it's almost like praying, okay, please make me brave, well, whoever's listening, <laughs> um, to be, to take a bold step and not to hesitate, you know, before I take the leap. And then we come to the codis, and it is soaring into clouds of fate. On my journey to awake, all the mysteries of a world so frail, solar seas I sail. I love this so much. <laughs> um, even more than the second part of the chorus, because I just felt so much. I don't know. I, I imagine like this huge freaking beam of light you know uh there's like one youtube <laughs> video it's called i think it's like how to train your dragon ambience and music and it's basically i like, just like above the clouds as you're flying and that was what i was imagining so look it up it's beautiful um and yeah i mean it's uh it's straightforward we are soaring into clouds of fate so we are taking a leap we trust that everything is gonna work out um, or that we are gonna make it work for us. And then on my journey to awake all the mysteries of a world so frail. Yeah, um, frail, I like to use that word because there is such a thin line between what can happen, this kind of 50-50, uh, could it all go great or really badly? And obviously, you know, it can go both ways. And I think the um the world is like that even if you move somewhere and you love the place you never know how once you move you're gonna uh, experience the place so i guess it's the whole idea of yeah all the mischief of the world so frail let's figure it out let's figure out the world although it can go both ways and can be very messy but let's just do it and then solar seas i sail that's more of like a little hope kind of thing where um we already sail you know the the, the sunlight yes darkness blinded by the light future dreams that come to life wings of freedom keep me high this is my goodbye so i think most of it is straightforward, you know. It's the positive kind of view on things, you know, the dreams are gonna come to life, you know. Yes, we are, you know, we freed ourselves, we have the wings, you know, let's go, let's go, let's go. We are completely destroying the dark with the new light, with new hope and everything. This is my goodbye. I love this because it might sound to some people like it's a negative thing, but it's a good thing because you're walking away from everything that doesn't serve you anymore. So for me, it's a very positive note. Um, okay, next verse, like a spark from a tale of a wonder crashing through the dark. Um, yeah, so <laughs> like a spark, so we're back with the thousand lights, I would say. Um, you are becoming basically the, the spark, you know, from a tail. About one a crashing through the dark. So you're not like, you know, maybe there's gonna be one little light and then maybe it's gonna, you know, grow bigger. No, it's like you're crashing through the dark, you're like destroying it. It's, uh, it's very kind of strong emotions and strong feelings and strong motion, you know rapid heart of an old mysterious voyager. I feel like when you do certain things and they seem bold or risky, you feel almost like this, you know, old hero character, or at least you feel the energy of that. And yeah, this old mysterious voyager, you have like heart racing and all the kind of excitement, I guess. Um, but also kind of the... Uh, this feeling of wow, I'm doing it. I'm 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 doing something else. It's um, I'm following what my heart is telling me. So you know, I I love that. It's it's like an old wise person, you know, saying, oh, you know, when I was young, I used to travel the world. <laughs> so you are trying to travel the world now, you know, with um, all the things that you uh, have, the skills, the tools, and whatnot. On the run from the same old illusions weaved into the calm. Oh my goodness, that's very kind of close to my heart because 
I always felt like I'm on, on the run from old illusions. So old illusions are just like old things, well, from the past or that, uh, you know, you hear throughout your life, doesn't matter who says it, if it's in school or your family or, well, friends from that time or whatever, you know, whatever it is, when you constantly hear the, dif the different perspective to what you want in life and it's okay and it's good to have different perspectives on things but I think you should always know what you actually want no matter what the perspectives of others are I think we all have like a core passion for things I think we all have a core you know uh, some core values uh, that intensify over time and I just think that they are there. I don't know. I could not really say why certain things are the way they are because I'm also very different from my family and even the people who are very close to me. Um, and that's my core, you know, that's how I see it. And running from all the illusions that are... Because illusions and like, I guess the, the, the kind of the voices in your head that are putting either doubt in your head or, you know, making you consider other options although you feel like yours is the right one um can be very distracting and i don't think that's good when things get too distracting because then you're like off your course so it's not really right so weaved into the calm yeah it's it's because like you can be doing whatever you're doing you you, you could be chill and like enjoying your life and what whatever is happening but but then it can still kind of, I don't know, find its way into your head, into your life, through people, through thoughts, through whatever, you know, something that you read, something that you see. And it can be very distracting, yeah, from your own life and what you believe in. So yeah, strengthening that kind of belief of and, and your truth and your, yeah, just core values, I guess. Um, that was what I was talking about, like running from all the noise that doesn't s serve you, yeah. Towards hope, it's the home to the visionaries yet unknown. Yeah, so um, you're running away from all the noise that doesn't serve you, that would only put you down and you're running towards the hope, the, you know. And I love the, the line, it's the home to the visionaries yet unknown, because everybody is somewhat a visionary of their own <laughs> in terms of you know, everybody brings something to this world, this life, to their own life. Um, it hasn't been done before, maybe. Um, by giving it a personal touch, you know. Um, I feel like everybody's, even though like we're all doing laundry and, and we need to clean our house or whatever, right? We're all doing it in a very different way. Some Somebody would be singing along to a tune. The other one would be dancing. The other one would be annoyed. <laughs> the other one would be listening to an audiobook and laughing and whatnot. Um, so, yeah, you know, it's... Uh, even that is so different. So, yeah, um, in, in some sort of way, we're all kind of little visionaries. Um, and if we follow what, you, we, what we believe in, um, we can definitely create a world for ourselves i guess um it's harder because there is a certain uh, view and a certain way people want to be and you know and you just gotta stand above that and it's hard and it's hard and i i think this is why i wanted to write a song about basically hope for all of that because it is difficult to stand up for yourself for your weirdness or your uniqueness or even when it's something that you like for example some people want to be you know independent and have this huge business and other people want to stay home and some people want to have a family some people want both let's say um some people have insanely big dreams that nobody believes they would make it you know <laughs> but standing kind of above all the noise of people's chatter and and surrounding yourselves with people who actually support you and and uh being self-aware and whatnot you know i i think yeah but also believing in your freedom and your truth just like i said a couple of times and yeah so this is what the song is about i hope you found that um interesting <laughs> 
Uh, so yeah, the next song is gonna be um, Come Out of the Dark, and it's gonna be more of a like a, I would say a punkier song, um, <laughs> more upbeat, I guess, um, exciting and funny. So yeah, we're stepping out of the <laughs> very um, deep meanings into complete trash. So that's me. That's uh, either there's a lot of meaning or there's nothing. There's just complete trash. So <laughs> um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and um, I will talk to you soon. Uh, bye, bye, bye.